Hello, the Bruce is Bruce here, and welcome back to Golden Sandsbox, the channel where I aim to push creativity to its limit in the sandbox that is Sea of Thebes. I'm not sure if anyone's visited the Wild Treasure Store far in the north section of the map, but things have 100% gone sideways. I first talked to Jonah, the shopkeeper here, who immediately referenced an incident that got him sent away and banished to the Wild Treasure Store. When I got done talking to him, he absolutely didn't want me to go anywhere. Oh, I miss you already! When checking in with Emmerich, who also goes by Jack and resides 24-7 with Jonah at the sea post, I got increasingly concerned. He told me that Jonah poisoned his now dead wife with ancient skeleton magic, that Jonah's actually a skeleton lord, and that Jonah only sleeps one hour a day. Being at the sea post for just a few minutes left me feeling really unsafe and deeply worried about both of these individuals. Upon assessing the situation, it became clear what the problem was. These two have often relied on consistent cargo deliveries from merchants, but it turns out lately those deliveries haven't been making it to them. In fact, I can share this actual stat that is 100% real. Only 1 in 30 pieces of merchant cargo in Sea of Thieves actually get delivered to the correct location. 10 and 30 are abandoned and the remaining 19 cargo pieces end up in the hand of reapers and turned into the servant of the flame at reapers hideout. If I was going to save Jonah and Emmerich or Jack's sanity, I'd need to increase their number of visitors. While it makes sense to go to the merchants about this, they were already doing their best to get cargo where they needed. If I could talk to some reapers and show them how much fun it is to deliver cargo where it needs to be, maybe they'd start to deliver it to these folks all over the seas that need their cargo and maybe these guys might just get their sanity back. Before going straight to the reapers, I thought it would be a good idea to learn more about moving cargo from some of the best. So I put up an LFG request on the Sea of Thieves Discord. I figured if I was going to teach some reapers to move cargo, I'd want to know what phrases to use when teaching them. To ensure I was learning from the experts, I set my boat up with 40 pieces of cargo and raised Gold Hoarder Emissary. I took the cloth and spread it out across the main deck of the ship. I also put the glass bottles up in the crow's nest and put the plants downstairs in the hull of the ship, which I filled very high with water. I also got rid of all regular cannonballs and put three kegs in various parts of the ship. I did this because anyone can claim to be the best, but I wanted to make sure that I was learning from truly the best pirates here who could navigate this situation. Once my crew began to form, I was quickly given tips and advice for how to undo this mess that I had gifted them with, and how to best do these voyages. One of their first tips was to just not do these voyages at all. Uh, it's better to do the sunken ships, they give you so much, so much more. Oh. Wouldn't it be wise to switch to Merchant Emissary if we're doing Merchant Runs? <laughs> yeah, that's what I told him. He's, he wants Gold Hooker. Uh, I don't know. Do we should you, probably also should not we have switch? this on the deck. Let me... Okay, yeah, so you usually just split them up into three groups of what they are. And keep the mm -hmm. um, cloth up top so it doesn't get wet. The, gotcha. It's good to like pop a hole in your ship or to fill up the water down there to keep the plants wet because they can't get dry. Yeah. And then the bottles you can't jump with. So, they're okay. the most annoying. Uh, yeah, I mean, how many different deliveries? I've seen Wild Henry, Loot and Penelope. My god. Yeah, for these delivering ones, parking is like the biggest thing, and it's just a because you gotta get it perfect so that you don't have to jump off and that water mm -hmm. never touches your thing. So, parking oh. is really important. We delivered cargo at Kraken's Fall and headed over to Crook's Hollow. Throughout the journey, I tried to throw them off by trying to start a blunder bomb fight, which never worked. At one point, the crew was putting water back in the hull after I had removed all of it, and they were teaching me something new. How do you oh, grab no, the- do you just hold the bucket while you're in the water? Yeah, How do you yeah. get it? Yeah? Yeah, just watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Okay. Can oh, okay. It, you, it, you just have to do part of the animation, the bucket. I missed. We approached Quirk's Hollow, where there were some ghost ships. Maybe, maybe they'll put some holes in us. It'll be good okay. for us. Uh, well, they should we shoot at them or they uh, they attack us anyway? Oh, I'm dead. I'm coming back though. I'm I'm good at repairing. Don't worry. God, dude, I'm in a sweatshop. <laughs> I just gonna spray you in the face. Even with the chaos at Crook's Hollow, we managed to make it to our final stop at Finest Trading Post, 
and sold our 40th piece of cargo. While I wasn't actually new at the game, these guys really deserve a shout out for showing yeah, me some cool tips and being what makes this community in Sea of Thieves so special. Now that I had learned from the best, it was time for me to transfer these skills over to a Reaper. If I could show the Reapers just how cool it was to deliver cargo, maybe my friends at the Wild Treasure Store could get more company and have rum to drink instead of seawater. I was on a new server and headed straight towards a Reaper 5 with my merchant flag up. I appeased them by sending out fireworks and headed over to them with nothing to lose. My task here would be getting them to pick up some merchant cargo with me and resist the Reaper's urges by delivering the cargo where it needed to go. I'm coming aboard, but I'm not like here to cause mischief. Hello! Classic Hi, how Reapers, how's it going? That's good. It's Look at that good. outfit. Is doing? it just you or do you got a buddy? That's just me. No way! You got to five all by yourself. Yep. It's impressive. Listen. Do you. Do I what? I'm good. Uh, do you want to touch some of the stuff? Get your uh, flag up? No, my boat just sunk. Oh. <laughs> I was in the Den of Evil on the boat of a Reaper. You have to collect crates from the North Star Seapost? Yes. Yeah. Can you go do that? Absolutely. I had a lot of questions, wanting to get inside the head of a reaper. What does it mean to be a reaper? Uh, it means to... Uh, kill people and take their loot. Got you. There's no pirate code. I was on the boat of a true killer. Yeah, so um, do you wear that outfit for any reason in particular? What am I wearing right now? Oh, this? Uh... Well, I like to suck on people, so you never know when it, the chance is gonna arrive, you know? Yeah, arise. that's that's why I wear this so outfit just... as well. Yeah, see? Look at that. You can, like, barely yeah, see me. Yeah, I can't me. even see you. Yeah. yeah. And then get ready, get ready, you ready? Hold on. Ah! <laughs> I was on your boat the whole time! Dude. Yeah, pretty shocking, that's right? Insane. We got the cargo at North Star Sea Post which was set to be delivered at Shipwreck Bay. I soon thereafter passed on some of the tips I learned from my merchant crew onto them. So if you put, yeah, you put a little bit of water down here for the plants. Um, it's good to have piles. So if you put things into piles. Is this a good, I don't know if this is a good place for the bottles. I mean, but, I don't intend on like getting hit at all while we're doing this. So that's if probably if fine. if a cannonball comes our way, will you jump in front of the bottles? I'll save the bottles. Yeah. He spoke too soon, because as we were leaving North Star Sea Post for what we thought would be a quick delivery over to Shipwreck Bay, a Reaper brig appeared and was very close. I had failed to align myself with my Reaper friend, so if I died, I'd be sent back to my ship. As the brig crossed past with us and some cannonballs were thrown our way, my reaper pal stuck to his word and put his body between the cannons and the bottles to protect them. Yeah, if you die, you're, we're done. Yeah. Are you protecting the bottles? Thank you. Yeah. Do you think if we put the bottles downstairs uh, and I stay on bilge, do you want to try to fight them? What do you think? Um, I'm content with running. This is the way of the reaper. While running, we discussed some plans. Like, I'm more upset if I like lose your stuff now than if uh, I lose this loot up here. Well, so, do you want to make a sacrifice? Should we load up the rowboat and just like send your boat going, and then you and I go deliver this? Well... While he said that cargo delivery was his top priority, he still had attachment to his physical possessions in the loot on board. We brought the boat as east as possible when the decision was finally made that we would fight. I'd have to stay on bilge. Playing very carefully, I started to repair and... Or splinter. Yeah. Oh! Someone's on us! Someone's on us! I'm dead. I was spawned very, very, very far away. Worried both about my cargo and my solo Reaper 5 taking on an entire brig, I had to help. I checked the map constantly on what felt like the longest cross-map journey ever. But finally, I made it. I arrived and gave my sloop friend a moment of respite while I occupied the brig. In my interaction with them, now that I was less afraid of dying, I noted that they actually weren't very good or super coordinated. 
They had to flee to the nearby fort, so while they did that, I reconvened with my Reaper 5 sloop. Hey, crowd man. What's up, dude? They're not incredible. Yeah, honestly, I thought they'd be better. Yeah. Or we can just leave them and go deliver the cargo. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, there's one there. We decided we could gain enough ground here to get the cargo in at Shepwreck Bay while they resupplied the fort. So we headed off on a ship yet Hello. again. Hey, what's up? The brig was still on us, but we had some time to get stuff sold. Oh, I guess I can't. He was do it. gobsmacked at how much gold was coming into his bank. We delivered all these items in perfect condition too. This guy was a true natural. After being done with our part of the journey, it was time to see how he was feeling. So you're like kind of a merchant now. I guess so. Yeah, I'm a merchant man now. Isn't it? Uh, it's pretty fun, right? To deliver some cargo. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Do you think you'd rather do that than uh, bring it to uh, the mass stranger? The, yeah, the Absolutely, yeah. I'm changing my ways now. I'm gonna become a merchant cargo runner. That's exciting! Really? After this? Because wow. there was... Wow! You realized, you realized, uh... It's just, it's one reaper at a time. This is huge. Mm -hmm. And you, yeah. and you followed my advice for like how to keep the things safe. So it was, it worked out really well for us. Yeah, I've learned a lot. I'm gonna change my ways. This is huge. You say goodbye to the Reaper flag, right? Yeah. All right. I think in like, go kill nothing. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna, not gonna sink or kill pirates ever again. He was really a changed man. Uh, with all this said, do you want to go sink that brig? Yeah, I do. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Behind you. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Okay. Him and I fought tooth and nail, and I didn't learn my lesson last time because unfortunately I ended up dead and respawned on my boat far oh. away. But I'm happy to say upon respawn, I immediately checked the map and the only ship in sight was my Reaper 5. I sailed back to celebrate. We did it! I'm so proud! When I met him, all he could do was talk about tucking on other ships and killing. But now, he was someone completely different. I had one last question for him. So yeah, now you nice have all this well. loot, I'm assuming you're going to bring it to the merchant, right? That's what I thought. No. <laughs> <laughs> Once a reaper, always a reaper. Change is gradual. It doesn't happen overnight, and I think that's the big takeaway here. He'll get there. After all my hard work, I checked back in with Jonah and Emmerich, er, Jack at the wild treasure store to see if they had more visitors and maybe had regained their sanity. Quickly, hand over your things and sail away. If I turn into a skeleton like him, kill me. Like I said, change is gradual. Also, not gonna lie, I'm now 100% invested in this Jonah is a Skeleton Lord lore. Uh, I can't wait for the tall tale. Thank you, Rare.